guys, welcome back to our vegan kitchen. I've got a nice spring recipe for you today. Pineapple upside down cake. Yay! It's such a classic, right? Mm -hmm. So I was hoping to have fresh pineapple to make this today, but we didn't have enough fresh pineapple because the Dungeons and Dragons folks ate too much of it. We like to keep it healthy. <laughs> so that's okay, because I had a nice can of pineapple and that is going in the upside down. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. This is super simple. It's basically fruit and cake. So let's start with the cake part. I've got a cup of non-dairy milk here. Mm. Today I'm using unsweetened almond and I'm gonna curdle it. So I'm gonna make like a buttermilk, but without the butter or the milk. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar just going to give that a stir and let it sit. Well, that's sitting. I'm just going to show you what I did in the pan over here. I have a nice uh, big nine inch cake pan. I cut a piece of parchment for the bottom because I don't like surprises. I don't like thinking, oh, I'm going to leave half of that on the bottom of the pan. I saw my dad uh, have that happen to him way too many times to take a chance. So I'm putting my parchment on the bottom. Uh, like I said, they ate all the pineapple. I've had some of the fresh one around the outside there, but there wasn't enough for the whole cake. So I opened up a can of pineapple rings with 100% juice. You don't want to get the one that's in syrup because that's no good. Make sure it's 100% pineapple juice. So you save the juice. You can either drink it or use it to make a sauce, or maybe you could put it in your sweet and sour stir fry, put it in a smoothie, do whatever you want because it's a hundred percent juice. <laughs> so this is starting to curdle. So I'm just gonna add, you can see that, right? A little bit. Yeah, it's getting a little chunky, chunky monkey. So I'm gonna add the other wet ingredients to this, um, like two teaspoons of vanilla. This is the oil for the recipe. I'm just gonna use olive oil. You could use whatever oil, but I think olive oil is really the healthiest oil for this. And if you're gonna make Whoa. it, you might That's as well cool. be healthy. Wow, there was a little piece of parsley in there. <laughs> hey, let's dig that out. All right, we're gonna give that a stir. So this is basically a marriage. You're going to marry the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. So these are all together. It's got the whole family there. We're gonna work on the dry ingredient family now. I've got my all-purpose flour in here. In this bowl is the mother and father of the bride. I'm using a cup of sugar. I know it sounds like a lot, but I'm using monk fruit uh, sugar, so it's healthier. If you don't have a lot of monk fruit or you think it's too expensive or whatever, you could use like half sugar substitute and like half real sugar, or you could just use all real sugar if you want, it doesn't matter. And underneath hiding is the baking powder. So I'm just gonna combine all of the dry ingredients I'm gonna take this over to the mixer. You wanna make sure that the dry ingredients are at least semi-combined before you bring over the other one for the wedding ceremony. <laughs> that looks good. Dearly beloved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are gathered here today to make a pineapple upside down cake. <laughs> Let's go crazy. Right, let's get nuts. Are we adding nuts? Um, there's nuts in the almond milk. Oh, okay. All right, so that's all of the wet this is a cake <laughs> and it's got baking powder in it so you don't want to over mix because you're going to lose all of that volume if you work it too much and if you work it too much you're going to activate the gluten and that is going to make a very tough cake so you want to mix this as little as possible until it's just combined and then we're going to go and pour it on top of the pineapple and seriously that's it it may even look a little bit lumpy but that's okay you don't want to overdo it because you're really going to sacrifice the consistency of the cake all right this is beautiful and perfect and it's not over mixed that's the best part don't worry like i said about the lumps they're going to get um, incorporated into the batter as it bakes it's going to soak it up those great sound effects in the back yeah <laughs> My dad would always get on my case about being an overmixer. <laughs> and I was like, but I have to make sure it's mixed. Ever since uh, he passed, he's been visiting me a lot in my mind, telling me not to overmix, and I think it's helped it quite a bit. 
I think so. Thanks, Gramps. Yeah. <laughs> Said it's going to be okay. Just don't overmix it. It's kind of like don't overthink it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be okay. All right. So this is the bottom of the cake. This is going in at 375 for about 30 to 35 minutes. And when it comes out, we're gonna let it cool because we're gonna flip it. <laughs> Bye. See you in 35. All right, so here I'm running a knife around the outside of the cake and hoping that it's gonna come out when I flip it over. And yes, it came out great. And I just peeled the um, top piece of paper off and even my mom remarked, whoa, that's perfect. So now Mark is serving it up and it's cutting like a dream. It's beautiful, it's nice and moist. It has plenty of loft because I didn't over mix it. Thanks dad. And <laughs> it was just, it was really good. What, what did you think of it? I loved it. Here's what's left over. We only had a couple of people tonight eating it. Otherwise, yeah. it would have all been gone. Yeah, it was delicious. But it's very nice. And I'm going to keep the rest of this in the fridge. The only thing that I would say would improve it would be some cocoa whip on the Ooh, top, maybe. That would be perfect. Or a little scoop of vanilla ice cream with a little alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> no, just Let's kidding. not get crazy. I think the cocoa whip would be amazing. So... I hope you guys give it a try. It's really, really simple. Just don't over mix. Give it a like if you like this recipe, subscribe for more, and until next time, much love.